So, today we are gonna build this little model here, 8-bit sifter by nonlinear circuit. This is the boom and components, if you need them just lock the video or I will leave you anyway uh, the link in the description for everything. And let's start, let's turn on our solder iron like always and this is the kit. Three panels this time, one really dense and the other with pots and jacks. Let's start with the IC. So let's take our friend. Let's place it and now let's put a bit of solder on one point to lock it and then let's go with the other legs. This is how it looked like when we finished. Um, I could have done a better job, but it works. It's okay. I like it. Now let's move on with the dials. There are a few of them, but the important thing is that four of them are connected together. So don't forget. Always follow the arrow on the PCB so you don't put wrong the black line on the diodes. These four are connected together as you can see. Now these little guys here. There is one of them for every LED. So if one of your LEDs doesn't work, this is the reason why. It happened to me that one of these was not good solder, one of his leg and in the end I found out why one of my LEDs was not working. This is how they look like. One of them was not good solder, but I found out this after. <laughs> Now let's move on on our resistors and capacitors. There are a lot of them, so I put them in this cup here. And this is how it looks like. These are the LED resistors. I didn't place them immediately because I needed to check which one was good. Because I never used blue LED, so I needed to check the um, resistor, which one was better. At the end I think I placed the 33K. It was the best. Now, with the true all components, you know, it's pretty easy. Even if I think it's easier with SMD components, but don't tell to anyone. <laughs> These pins, male and female, are to connect the PCB with jacks and pots with the PCB with the SMD components. The jacks always place them in this direction. Ah, and also I forgot, on the A-bit sifter there are not pots, so yeah, only jacks. <laughs> These are the little blue LEDs that I choose. Let's go to solder them all. Here is where they go, the LED resistors. I 
let's turn on the light it's pretty dark now and let's do the our continuity test this is model how it look like at the end let's place the panel and let's check that everything works <laughs> Let's connect first the clock, then one of the two data at least, and then the strobe uh, to one modulation so we can see all the LED moving together. And as you can see in this moment, the LED, the one that is down, was not turning on, but the reason why I told you before. <laughs> and it's working I really really love this model honestly it's like a Turing machine, a sample and holder something unique it gives you a lot of clock, a lot of CV modulation it's really crazy so this is how it is the end so if you liked the video, if you enjoyed it, if you had a good time with me just leave a like, also if it was useful share and if you are not subscribed to the channel, see you.